Yebo, Yebo, Yebo. Welcome to Watch Me Build It. We're headed out on a holiday in a few days' time. And my six year old said to me this morning, Daddy, you know what I don't like about going on holiday? I thought kids liked everything about going on holiday. He said, It takes so long to get there. And I could totally identify with that feeling. Do you remember being a child? Trips to holiday took a long time. The wait for Christmas took a long time. The wait for your birthday took a long time. The wait to grow up took a long time. Well, I have been in that space of anticipation about today's broadcast. You see, as I've been kind of scratching around in the world of AliExpress watches, as I have been experimenting with and learning to build watches, I've come to see that there's a space on the dial of every sterile dial watch that is aching to be filled. And it's the space that every manufacturer fills with their logo. So, today I am announcing the launch of my own brand. The name of my brand is Rossbau. And the brand that I'm launching isn't a specific design. It's not a specific look. It's none of those things. Rather, my brand is this. I hand build your watch. I hand build your watch. I am going to be running models. They're going to have serial numbers. Um, there will be some that are kind of more commercial and then there will be others that are custom built. So let's flip the camera, take a look at some of those models and then we'll return and I'll explain how the Rossbauer Enterprise is going to work. Yes folks, if you want to prosper in a kingdom you have to honor the king and I have come to understand in watch world, not only in the big world but also in the micro brand world and in the AliExpress world, Submariner is the king and so the first offering a Submariner homage the code name is RBR-001 and there you can see it sporting the Rossbauer logo hope you enjoy the reflections of the trees behind me this is it it's uh, an all stainless steel 40 millimeter Submariner homage Cyclops on the dial sapphire crystal ceramic bezel insert 120 click bezel NH35 movement, clip open clasp, with a sliding diver's extension and that is the first model in the range, RBR001. And RBR002, the brother of RBR001, is a Batman GMT. The movement inside of here is a DG5833 GMT movement and we also have sapphire crystal ceramic bezel insert 120 click bezel let me get it all the way back because we can't do this halfway B16L stainless steel case the same clasp RBR002 RBR003 that's a Seiko SKX007 homage, a Seiko NH35 movement, hence the date only. Sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert, five link bracelet. This is not a, a mold clasp, it's a pressed clasp, no diver's extension on this one. This is RBC002. RBR stands for Rossbau Retail and RBC stands for Rossbau Custom. This is a custom watch where I'm sure you recognize this case. It's a well-known case in the industry, but I've used a different dial and different hands to create a unique setup on this particular unit. This is an example of what, uh, what you'd be getting from me. Um, I love the clasp on this watch, it's amazing, much like the original, little ceramic ball bearings over there, and so the feel of this clasp 
locking into place is really great. RBC002. If you're wondering where RBC001 is, I will show some shots of that later. It was a piece that I built for a friend, um, the first Ross bow that was ever issued. RBC002, this particular unit, is running a Seiko NH35 movement. Right, RBC003. This is a stealth take on the Subby. We've got blacked out indices, blacked out hands, um, a blacked out bezel. It's a Yacht Master style bezel. I hand painted that triangle red and I hand painted the tip of that second hand. We're running a Miyota 8215 in this watch. Got a nice Cyclops over there on the date. Um, and yeah, you can have a look. Solid end links on the strap. The same clasp as on the other two. It also has the diver's extension. Um, and that is RBC003. This is RBC004, a watch that you haven't yet met on my channel. I've just built it recently. But in this one, we're looking at a Planet Ocean dial, Aquaterra hands, Seamaster case with turned down lugs, the nine link Seamaster strap, or it's actually five link in this particular iteration a mold clasp with a divers extension RBC 004 this one's running a Seagull ST 1612 so what do you think I'm really really excited about this new project and I'd like to explain a little bit about how it's gonna work you found out about this on YouTube and I will be introducing every one of the new models on YouTube I've also opened an Instagram account and there's a link below. The Instagram account will probably be the quickest way of discovering what's going on. In time, I will also be opening a Facebook account and then building my own web page. Pricing wise, um, the, the models that you recognize, you could probably get the same watch for cheaper with somebody else's logo on it. Um, but the unique selling point that I'm bringing to the table is that I will be building your watch by hand. I'll be doing the quality control by hand. I'll be cutting the stems by hand. I'll be making sure that your watch is the best version of itself. For example, the divers extension on those clasps um, on the RBR001. I took some time to make sure that they worked just perfectly. I oiled them. I filed down a few pieces where it was a bit glitchy just to make sure that we've got the best version of what it can be. The RBCs, um, those are unique builds. Their price will be higher because usually I'm needing to buy the parts separately or I'm buying a donor watch and then I'm buying additional parts. Um, and then there's another option on the table. And the other option is for me to build a watch for you. So you're welcome to get in touch with me if you have an idea of a watch that you'd like to build. In an instance like that, we'll be looking at the high street prices on the parts plus it's more or less 25 to 30 percent additional that will pay simply to get them here to me um, through customs paying for transport um, and then I will charge a build fee depending on the complexity of the build um, and then of course there would be the cost of postage to get it back to you as is always the case anything that's customized isn't going to cost the same as the bulk versions you can buy but it is so worthwhile I'm enjoying wearing these watches, I'm enjoying seeing my logo on them and I really think it's an amazing experience. So if you're interested in buying one of these, what do you do? Send me an inquiry at watchmbi at gmail.com, mention the code name of the watch that you liked or you can give a description, your Batman GMT. Um, I will then send a proposal to you on the pricing. When you're happy with that, you then will make payment of a deposit to me. All payments are going to be via PayPal. I order these watches and I order these parts specifically for you. I'm not carrying an inventory, not yet. There is a lead time on these. We're probably looking at between six and eight weeks for it to get here, for me to build the watch and then for me to career that watch off to you. That time will change depending on where you are in the world. So I'll be looking at a deposit payment 
and then I will ask you to pay the, the, the fulfillment payment before I send it off to you. But by that time I'll be able to give you photos, video clips and everything else with your watch. Your watch will come with a box, your watch will come with a warranty card um, that will be handmade, handwritten by me. Um, it, it is its own little certificate of authenticity. Um, so you will be getting a few of these things as well as part of the package. Um, another note is there are different colors available, particularly on the RBR001, the RBR002. So the 001, that's the subby. It's black, green, and blue. Those are available. RBR002, the GMT, is available in Pepsi and Coke dials as well. And then the RBC002, um, that was the first custom build I showed you. You saw the red bezel, but we can also do a blue bezel and we can do a black bezel on that watch. So guys, there it is, the launch of Ross Bow. I hope you're as excited as I am. I look forward to hearing from some of you and I look forward to hand building a watch just for you. Thanks a lot for your time and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.